You get free Archie toys and Pope cereals. In Alphabet, you get a free Archie car, just like the Jalopy Archie drives. Free. And on the Alphabet's box, Betty's here for Archie and Jughead and Archie's Garage. Fill up your car with Archie's and give them a ride. Get your free Archie car in Post Alphabets, where Whoa. everything's Archie. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of American Picker Man. This is season six, episode number nine. Uh, I'm kind of having a hard time waking up today, so if the if the show seems a little lack lackluster, that's that's not your fault. It's 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 mine. Um, not a great uh, Friday. In fact, Friday was raining, so I didn't even go out. Uh, you remember the rain that we've all been talking about? Anyway, uh, Saturday, a glorious day, sunshiny, warm weather. Uh, went out and found uh, a good amount of stuff, enough for a show anyway. Uh, as lackluster as I may make it seem. Anyway, you saw the commercial at the start there, and uh, that's how we'll start the show, showing you uh, the little Alphabet's uh, cereal premium, um, Archie's Jalopy. Uh, and I probably had one of these, or two of these, or three of these when I was a kid, because I did eat myself a fine bunch of Alphabet's, uh, all those post cereals, all the sugary goodness that they uh, encapsulated. Uh, anyway, so I got that uh, for a quarter, and sorry, it's on the back there, and probably get uh, 10 bucks uh, out of that. So that was good. Uh, for a dollar, picked up these three, uh, I think these are uh, Napco, Napco wear, um, chalk pixies, chalk wear pixies. Uh, they've each got their own little bits of uh, paint chipped off on them, but they got that. Uh, and and got, I got this one. Uh, they're all sitting on mushrooms, which is what pixies do. It's the, it's the furniture they favor, mushroom. So anyway, those three for a buck, and I'm guessing as a set, probably get uh, 15 to 20 dollars for them. That's my plan anyway. Uh, for a quarter, picked up uh, these fine items, uh, uh, a vintage uh, blown plastic pumpkin uh, candy bucket pail, and a little uh, nut cup to go with it. Come on! They just all fit right in there. And then also inside that larger bucket uh, were these two like uh, vintage bandit, uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be, it looks webby, so I'm guessing that's like Spider-Man or Spider-Women, because it's got the flared edges on it, I don't know. So, and, and like a Lone Ranger. kind of bandit mask. Check this out. Can you, can you see that? Nah, probably not. Anyway, it says duck wall is 10 cents, so you know, you know that's vintage, because you can't get anything for a dime but a little teeny gumball anymore. So, anyway, a quarter for all that, and, um, I might hang out to it, might sell it, but anyway, if I were to sell it, I'd probably get, uh, 20 bucks for the lot. Um, for a quarter, picked up this. Uh, this is copyright L and M ink. Uh, I don't know what that means. There was a label, a little sticker on there, but and I can't quite read what it was. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know who made this, but it's a very cute little uh, zebra. Uh, no chips. Paid quarter for that, and uh, people like to collect zebras, so I'm guessing that's about a ten dollar bill probably. Uh, for three dollars, two or three dollars, I think it was three dollars. Picked up this stack of uh, old Rolling Stone. Uh, magazines back when it was still in newspaper form. So these are all from 70 and 71. I'll just show you the covers real quick because, you know, whoa, that's quick. So you got the uh, the Lyman family guy and then the, you, you fold them open and it's like it's like reading uh, the Denver uh, Rocky Mountain News back when there was a Denver Rocky Mountain News. Uh, so you got that cover. You got uh, one of the Nick pa one of the Nixon girls there and, and somebody else, uh, Lenny Bruce. This isn't being quick at all. Here's Peter Fonda touching himself. And uh, some other. Uh, okay. Anyway, I guess I won't show here, real quick. Uh, Joe D'Alessandro, I don't know who that is. Uh, and uh, Nicholas Johnson, Nic I don't know who either of these people are, but they made the cover of Rolling Stone, so it must be somebody. $3 for that, and those go for 10 to $15 a piece typically, so good find there. What else? Oh, I got this darling piece of jewelry to show you. Uh, and it's the only piece of jewelry to show you because it's the only jewelry I got this week. So here it is, this darling little sterling silver. Um, yeah, and you know, I, I know it's darling because, well, look, look. Ooh. Ah. See, it says darling. Uh, and it's vintage. It's, uh, it's kind of well-worn, but it is sterling. And it's, because it's so darling, uh, it's probably worth about 10 to $15, maybe even more, because that's kind of a rare little thing there. Uh, so, um, what else? Um, 
uh, well, this is kind of fun. Uh, this is kind of fun. Uh, not as valuable as I thought it might be. It's the uh, Marks Super Snooper 4-Way Scope. Let you look over fences and you know spy on people. You can look around corners or uh, look over the fence, like this one. It's a nice little periscope, uh, and I thought it'd be worth uh, about 20. It turns out it's only worth about 10, but I only paid a buck for it, so who cares? There's that. Um, here's something that's not too exciting, but easy money. Uh, $5 for a Mario Kart, and that's uh, about 15 or $20 there. Um, what else? Uh, oh, look, this isn't, I did, I bought this years and years and years ago, but it's been folded up and wrinkly. But look, remember that ironing from last week? My wife, she ironed it all up. Look at that. Somehow I feel, somehow I have the feeling that a crisis has arisen. Yeah. Anyway, so those things go for about uh, 10 $15. So since it was just sitting there and my wife ironed it, I thought I'd show it up. What else? Uh, um, oh. Not too exciting again, uh, but it's what I've got, so that's it. It's uh, three uh, original uh, NES game cartridges. We got uh, Akari Warriors 2, and uh, Wizards and Warriors. And the best one, Castlevania. Uh, paid five bucks for the three of them. A Castlevania probably go for 15 to 20, and these guys are just you know kind of lame losers. So I'll put them all together and try and get uh, 30 for the lot. Turn it into a, a winner. Um, oh, a couple of books here. This is uh, okay. Uh, you probably most of you know this, but I'll, I'll I'll tell it as a as a quick fact anyway. Uh, a little golden book, uh, the Country Mouse and the City Mouse. Uh, it's a, a first print, and the reason, the way you tell it's a first print is you go to the very last page, and I don't know if I can show it to you, but anywhere, if you look right uh, behind right there, you can see maybe there's a little mark. It's That's an A, which means it's a first print. They go B, C, and then double A, double B, uh, the further the printing goes along. So that's how you tell if it's first print, uh, the letter A. So I paid a quarter for that, and that's worth uh, about uh, 15 bucks. Um, Magic Made Easy. This is from 1960, back when magic was easy. It was easier back then because the crowds, they didn't care as much. They just didn't care. And then Penn and Teller came along, and it all got very complicated. Anyway, uh, it's a nice little booklet uh, for doing some easy little tricks with toothpicks and paper cups and whatnot. Quarter for that, and mm, yeah, there's one up there that somebody's trying to get 10 or 15 bucks for, so I'll say 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, we have the wonderful magic motion machine. Uh, look out. It's got some lenticular holograms in there. going to going to amaze your eyeballs and hypnotize you. Anyway, so this book is uh, from the 60s. Uh, it's got some other uh, lenticular holograms in there that uh, to dazzle your eyes and amaze you. Uh, huh? Is that, that moving? Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, uh, that's worth about 10 bucks. Uh, this book, however, this book, uh, the talking book, The Three Bears, let me insert uh, a little bit of footage here. Yeah, so so you just open it up and uh, inside, sealed inside here is uh, some sort of mechanism. I don't want to take it apart because, well, uh, then it'd be worth less. But yeah, as you saw in the video, you just... It's hard to get the speed just right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Anyway, you saw the video, so you don't need any more of that. But then, you know, you open this up, and, and there's, the, there's the story right there. And uh, if you listen real carefully, you can hear the bear mumble through the story. Uh, kind of a rare find that there was another one there. Uh, I don't remember what the title was, but it didn't work, so I didn't buy it. Uh, this was 50 cents, and I found uh, one only on the Internet uh, that somebody's trying to get 75 bucks for, uh, Canadian money, so like 65 bucks American. Uh, so, and this is in better shape than that one, and it does work where the other one doesn't. So, um, I may try and get a hundred bucks for that. I may, got, I may try and get me a Franklin for that. So, that was 50 cents, so that's a very good find. What else do we have? Eh, uh, not too exciting here, a collection of Credence. Not that we don't like CCR, but uh, it's just not worth very much. Paid a buck for that, it's uh, three discs, uh, maybe ten bucks because it's open. But this Roy, 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 
what's his name? Roy Orbison, that's his name. Uh, this is the soul of rock and roll, uh, the definitive Roy Orbison collection. Uh, it's still sealed and it will uh, go for probably 25 to $30. Uh, pay buck for that also. Got it for 10. They wanted to get rid of it, and it is it is a little nice, a little I mean rust on the on the case there. That's that's not a good start, is it? But it's a clarinet, if you hadn't guessed by the uh, size and shape of the case there. It's a uh, what was the brand here? Uh, airline, airline, fancy name for a clarinet. Anyway, there it is. Uh, it's not horrible. It's not great, but I should be able to get about fifty for that. So that's all right. For fifty cents, picked up this genuine electric. It's a Wolverine. This game is over. Not the comic book Wolverine, just the Wolverine brand. Uh, it's actually a, a real electric little kid's uh, iron, so could have used that, huh? Yeah. Uh, it does plug in. I, I don't know if it gets warm. I haven't plugged it in yet, but I imagine it gets like, uh, you know, warmish. So you can pretend you're ironing something important. Anyway, paid 50 cents for that, and uh, it's tin, and it, uh, hopefully it works, and it looks good, good shape, and maybe uh, 15 bucks on that. Things were a lot more dangerous when I was a kid. Uh, I had the Mattel Thing Maker, which heated up and melted uh, plastic goop, I think it was called. Kind of made uh, rubbery spiders. It, it was the, the, the bug uh, edition of the Thing Maker. That's what we had. We also had vacuum form, which heated up things. I mean, you could burn yourself all over the place when you were a kid. Uh, uh, anyway, I bring that up because this is a Thing Maker, not the scary one I had. Creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers. You can make all kinds of lovely things like these with Mattel's wonderful Thing Maker. It makes creepy crawlers, spiders, lizards, snakes, dragonflies. Make them yourself with this nice plastic goop. Choose a mold, pour in the goop, heat it, and presto change -o. You've got bugs. This is the, the girly version. Well, not that guys can't like flowers, I guess, but look at it. It's loaded with girls on the front, so a guy would never buy this back in the 60s. Yeah, it's the Fun Flowers Thing Maker. Um, I paid uh, two bucks for that, and it comes with some... I'll try and hold this up without spilling it all over. Uh, there's the, the goop melter there, uh, and the molds. Uh, it goes for about 15 to $20, so not bad. A little blast from my past, almost. And the box is in good shape. From our friends at Ohio Art, I think this is Ohio Art. Is it? Yes, it is. The, you know, you know, the makers of this. Turn the knobs and the lines go up and down and all around. No crayons, no chalks, never any mess. Turn etch a sketch upside down and shake, and everything disappears. Yeah, the etch a sketch, but this is not. This is the sketchograph. Uh, it's a, with pantograph. I don't know what that is. Pantograph. Anyway, it's one of those things where you trace a picture with one end of the gizmo and it draws it on uh, the pad right here, uh, that pad. See, somebody actually tried to do it. A little drunk they were. A little drunk kid tried to do that. And uh, anyway, so it's all here. And actually, I, they didn't have this set on eBay, but they did have just this book right here, the paint book, and got, somebody got 15 bucks for that. It's uh, you know, just filled with like uh, coloring book pictures that you would trace. And then you, you, you are an artist yourself. You are the artist. Anyway, so that's uh, that's unused, great condition. So I could get 15 for that alone, but I think because I've got you know this cool. I mean, look at that. It's got a Mickey Mouse head on it. And it's got a Donald Duck head on it, and it mentions the uh, uh, what's it called, the Mickey Mouse Club. So you know, it's from the late 60s or, or late 50s, early 60s, and it looks complete. Uh, so I'm hoping to get maybe maybe we can get uh, 25, 30 bucks for the whole the whole thing there. We'll see, and I'll let you know. And at the end, uh, all the, most of this stuff came from the same sale. It was a big estate sale. I just got in there and, and went crazy because they had all this cool stuff there. Uh, oh, got this. I'll show you this first. This is Spudzy. This is another Ohio Heart, Ohio Art item. It's supposed to. It's like you're playing a game of hot potato. It's working. It wasn't working before. It's not working well. Anyway, yeah, it springs a little, a little janky. Anyway, so it winds down and goes ding or something, and if you're holding the hot potato, you're out or you lose or something. Anyway, that's spudgy. It's a cute little thing, and even though it doesn't work, still thinking I can get 10 bucks for that because it's, uh, it's a cute little display piece. And then when I was trying to get out of this uh, estate sale, and I picked up this box of uh, uh, like uh, cowboys and Indians plastic uh, little figures, and they had 10 bucks on the box. Uh, here, 10. See? 10. 
and I said to them, uh, you know, this stuff is unmarked and looks really more like cake toppers than anything else. I mean, it's not a, it's not a very good set. Uh, no manufacturing markers. It's just kind of a hodgepodge in here. Oh look, a Tinker Toy. You know. So I said, how about you know? They had rounded up everything I bought, and it was like thirteen twenty-five. And I said, how about fifteen for you know? Then I'll take it because it's really not much there. Uh, and they said sixteen. So I said, okay. So I took it, and there really isn't a lot here. Um, probably, I mean, it's got, it's got uh, horses, and it's got more horses. And, oh look, some more horses, uh, and a couple of cowboys that sit on the horses, in theory, and a couple of Indians, American, Native Americans, I guess you have to call them. Uh, and this, this was the coolest thing, I thought. Uh, this little, uh, little toy robot, little, little robot figure. <laughs> That alone, I'm guessing, I can probably get ten bucks for that because you know people love these things. I didn't see a f perfect match, but it's hard to you know narrow down the range of what you're looking for when you just put a robot figure, plastic robot figure. It pulls up a bazillion things. So to find a little teeny guy like this to match uh, is like a needle in a haystack. Anyway, so I got all that for basically uh, I guess uh, three dollars, two dollars and change. So got all that, and that's. Um, uh, Got a GameCube back there. I won't hold that up because you know everyone knows what a GameCube looks like. It's it's uh, and it's a fine machine. I paid five for it, and uh, I think I didn't look it up, but last time I sold one, I think they go for around twenty five, thirty dollars. So a good find. And I think let me take one last look around here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh oh, and I thought I was done. You thought I was done. Look, it's like it's like uh, an Encore. Renault Encore from Europe's leading car maker, now with an optional one point seven liter engine. Here's what we got. These are called, uh, what are they called? They are dream pets. Uh, a couple of them here. Couldn't, uh, a little poodle and a little a, a blue cat, or a purple cat. That's purple, not blue. Uh, they're, they're used, but they're in pretty good shape still. They don't have their tags, sadly, but uh, these are slightly collectible, and I think they're probably each worth, each worth about $10. I think I paid a quarter each for them, so that's right. a lot of $10 stuff this week for some reason. Oh, and <laughs> this was my first buy of the day, and I'm not sure why I did. I looked, I kind of was peeling, you know, looking through here and uh, looking for sterling or, you know, God forbid, there's a piece of gold in there. Didn't really see anything, but I thought, well, if I can get it for two, I'll take it. I got it for two, I took it. Haven't really gone through it yet, but I, I think, um, I think I kind of wasted two dollars here, but you never know. And I think this is the last thing. This is uh, Samson Import Company, uh, made in Japan. It's a planter. Uh, it's got this cute little girl putting on her lipstick, and that's supposed to, uh, sorry, that's supposed to be like a mirror. See, it's reflecting her face as she's putting on the lipstick. So it's kind of a cute little one. Uh, I paid a buck for it, and uh, I'm going to guess it's about a $20 item, so, so there. I'm looking around, and I, I, I just don't see anything more to show you. I think that is it. So... If that's it, then that's it. We're done here, so you can get on with your day now after you watch updates on a few things that sold last week. A few things sold. I didn't put the bomb in there. Did I mention the bomb? Sold the bomb. Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't put it in uh, last week's highlights, uh, but did sell the bomb. The bomb I paid $10 for, I sold, shipped for 460 So that was a good buy. It was about 30 bucks to ship it, so... 430 minus the 10 is 420. That's a decent profit. Uh, minus PayPal's cut. That's another that didn't sell it on eBay. Ha! So I didn't lose that 10%. Anyway, so the bomb went for 460. So that was a great one. Uh, hope to. You know, I'd like to get more bombs like that all the time. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. Um, do watch updates on a few things that sold last week. Got a few things there. And uh, hopefully uh, next week we'll do this all again. Father's Day next week. So may or may not be a, a great week. Who cares? It's Father's Day. I'll be. I'll be here. I'll be here doing this on Father's Day. That's my plan anyway. Weather permitting and the devil don't care. Uh, see ya.
haven't really gone through it yet, but I, I think um, I think I kind of wasted two dollars here, but you never know. Here's the best of the worst. 